gonna oil our machine now. Once per day of quilting, you wanna take out your bobbin. To do that, you have to make sure that the needle is up or it'll trap the bobbin in. So you take the bobbin out. Uh, I'm gonna go get my oiler can and you oil right there. One drop of oil. You do that each day of quilting. This is the kind of oil I recommend. It's just cheap sewing machine oil from Walmart. It comes in a, a zoom spout, so it's really easy to use. Okay, so now we're going to oil this. You just place that there, and you can see one drop going down the tube. One drop, we're done. So then, we put the bobbin back in and click it in. So that's oiled. The only other place to oil is on the side of the head of the machine, and that is uh, this little hole right here. You use the same oiler. There's a little felt washer in here, so you go in the hole, and you stick it in, and you'll feel a piece of felt. And then you put one drop in there. Now it's important that you put the oil into the felt washer that is located right here inside. If you miss the washer, the, the oil will just run down the inside of your machine and come out down here. So each day before you quilt, you want to run your finger right here and then look at it, see if there's a lot of oil on your finger. I've got a little tiny glisten of oil and that's perfect. All the parts in our head are self-oiling, and the only reason why we're putting oil here is for the take-up lever right here. Everything else is oil impregnated, self-oiling. Uh, those are the only two spots you need to oil. The hole on the side and the hook. The whole rest of the machine has sealed bearings, and they never need oil or grease.